Are you having a hard time dealing with certain enemies in Sons of the Force? Or maybe you simply want to become the apex predator on the island. Find the most efficient ways to get rid of every single one of them. Well, great news, because in this video, I will help you to take out any hostile target you come across. And I'm going to show you how to do it without any guns. So this is going to be very early game friendly, doesn't require much preparation or skill. So without further ado, let's delete some bad guys. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoy my content, it's very much appreciated. And yeah, if you have any questions or video suggestions, don't hesitate to leave me in the comments either. All right, so first off, we have the cannibals. You can find these all over the place. And I would absolutely recommend you to just take them out the easy way. It's super satisfying to just have a couple of traps well positioned around your base because you can instantly kill them regardless of their armor if they run through it. Either the fly sweater trap or the one that turns them to crisp, it's awesome to get rid of them this way. While many people are playing Sons of the Forest to just stay on the move, constantly roam around on the island. And in that case, I totally recommend you to have a stun baton with you as this one makes it super easy to take them out by just press and holding that button right before they charge you or even better you want to charge them while you do it as if you're able to tase them you have a free shot with your heaviest hitting weapon let's say the firefighter axe or maybe even a katana you can easily chop off their heads or take them out and if that first attack is not enough well you can land another hit and that definitely secures the kill if you're not a huge fan of melee attacks or simply want to keep your distance or don't have batteries to fire up your stun baton, well, bow and arrow will also do just fine by simply headshotting them. Usually puts out their lights in one shot. Sometimes though, they will wear armor, so then you're gonna have to shoot through that, but still, I definitely think it's an awesome way to get rid of them very quickly. Well, next up, we have the red fatties, or well, that's what I like to call them, as that's exactly what they are. Anyways, these are also very easy to take down with just one shot in the head, with also bow and arrow. Don't use your guns for this, please don't, as Ammo is pretty precious in the game, and these guys are very vulnerable to arrowheads as well. You just want to wait for them to finish their jump attack animation, and after that you have plenty of time, a free window of opportunity to take them out with a well-aimed shot between their eyes. Then we also have the bigger guys, the brutes. Sometimes it feels like their bullet sponges take a lot of damage before they fall down. And unfortunately, they are pretty immune to traps. While I think it's always nice to just throw a Molotov cocktail on them or let them walk through one of your fire traps, as this already seems to do quite some damage. On the other hand though, I do still think that arrows are once again your best bet on taking down these bad boys as I tried 9mm ammo and I think it takes like 3 or 4 shots before they die, while with bow and arrow it's just 3 shots and they're already down. So very easy and convenient way in taking them out. So now you're probably thinking, ah, oh, great 4AM, it's a headshot guide, we get it. But on the contrary, our next target, moving on to the mutants. The caterpillar seems to be very resilient to this type of damage. So arrowheads or even guns are not gonna save you right here. They seem to be very tanky, bullet sponges literally, against this type of damage. So then you wanna search for a different approach. It's pretty easy to take out the caterpillar if you're just staying close to your base, as if they just run through the traps, they can die pretty quickly as well, especially the spike traps. Well, I think the easiest way to take them out wherever you are is to craft yourself a couple of Molotov cocktails. Just one cloth and one booze will provide you with all the tools you need to take out these bad boys, and I think you're gonna need only two or three before they go down. Pretty simple, while you'll still be able to skin them. And what I really like about this is that these creepy armor skins are probably the best armor in the game in terms of both accessibility and armor value, as it's super easy to get your hands on once you know how to abuse the farms of mutants. So moving on to the mutants, the first ones primarily found in caves, all of them, by the way, are the blind mutants. These are very similar to cannibals. You either want to go for a headshot or one shot them with heavy attacks, which can be very easily executed when you first use the stun baton. Anyways, my hands down favorite way to get this type of armor is just 
position some well-placed traps somewhere in corridors inside a cave system, then just let any type of mutant run through it as it instantly kills them. Very easy to farm all the skins you need to maximize your armor value. And if we move on to the next targets, the runny fingers, these are pretty tanky as well for both arrows, gunshots, heavy attacks. They are quite dangerous as well as they deal a ton of damage and their attack animation can be pretty tricky. So just aim for the traps and the same basically counts for the twins, which can be killed with Molotov cocktails as well, by the way. I mean, I think this is a perfect way to take out any mutant inside the caves because they seem to be pretty vulnerable to fire, while these, even though they're much bigger, also get one shot by the traps. So always bring enough sticks, rocks and rope in the cave systems as this is going to be a golden opportunity on easily farming this type of armor. While sometimes you also come across these smaller fellas, the babies, and yeah, these, man, are so annoying while at the same time they're pretty easy to deal with as well. Usually just go for a grenade to get rid of every single one of them or one Molotov cocktail, while if you just want to go low budget, just take out a spear, because they love to leap onto you, which can deal a fair amount of damage or get rid of your armor pretty quickly. Then you just want to strafe to the left or to the right to dodge that. Once they've jumped, just jab with your spear. Make sure to do it twice as well to finish them off, because they don't get killed with one hit. They're very nasty creatures, but this is the way how I deal with them. Very consistent. Well, there is another creature inside, which are basically the demons, and they are pretty tanky as well. There are only a handful of moments when you come across these guys, either inside the caves during your storyline or late game after surviving many days on the island. Absolutely love getting rid of them with shotgun slugs or ammo. The reason why I prefer a shotgun is because it just makes short work of them very quickly, while Molotov cocktails usually also do the job, or you could of course also go with other makeshift explosives if you want to deal with bigger packs at the same time. So there you have it, a pretty easy way to get rid of any hostile threat you come across on the island, from cannibals to runny fingers, babies, caterpillars and even demons to make the odds of survival on the island so much better. Ladies and gentlemen, a big thanks for watching, be sure to leave a like if you found this video helpful and of course stay tuned for more, it helps out a ton and yeah, if you have any questions, suggestions for future videos, do leave them in the comments down below. Cheers.